Elon Musk is a man of many talents. Not only is he the founder of Tesla and SpaceX, but he's also a techno king who uses his knowledge to help others. In light of the Russia-Ukraine conflict, Musk has been using his social media platforms to raise awareness about the situation and to try to stop Putin and Russia. For example, on Twitter he has been sharing articles about the conflict and urging his followers to donate to charities that are helping people in Ukraine and Europe. He has also been tweeting directly at Putin, asking him to stop the invasion. Elon Musk seems to be relaunching a contentious proposal that he believes is still the most viable way to lessen Europe's reliance on Russia for oil and gas supply. Countries should increase nuclear power generation, says the billionaire on Twitter. It is insane from a national security standpoint and bad for the environment to shut them down. As predicted, his tweet sparked hundreds of responses and reignited the ultra-sensitive atom discussion. Environmentalists worldwide seem to be opposed to nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is clean and efficient and, if widely adopted, it has the potential to completely replace fossil fuels. It isn't because the so-called environmentalists are anti-human, not pro-clean energy. Some are tragically anti-human, Musk responded to his Twitter followers. Nuclear power is one of the steps recommended by the International Energy Agency in its 10-point plan for the European Union to reduce dependency on Russian supply by more than one-third while supporting the European Green Deal initiative. The key actions recommended in the IEA's 10-point plan include not signing any new gas contracts with Russia, maximizing gas supplies from other sources, accelerating solar and wind deployment, making the most of existing low-emission energy sources, the likes of nuclear and renewables, and ramping up energy efficiency measures in homes and businesses, the organization claimed. The EU has set a carbon neutrality aim for member states to achieve by 2050. Environmentalists in Europe seem to be opposed to nuclear power, which they do not perceive as a green energy source. As Elon Musk mentioned, nuclear power allows for the generation of carbon-free electricity. Nuclear energy supporters argue that it emits a relatively little CO2 and does not contribute to climate change. Still, detractors point out that the environmental effects of radioactive waste and the possibility of accidents are substantial. They further claim that nuclear power is risky because of its destruction potential that has the power to inflict significant damage. Many Ukrainian cities have also been damaged as a result of Russian bombardments. At the moment, all eyes are on the Zaporizhia nuclear power facility in Ukraine, near the town of Enerhodar. The Ukrainian station operator Energo Era maintains that the Russians have bombarded it multiple times. Moscow, for its part, attributes the blame for the bombs to Kiev. This protracted conflict, which has lasted for many months already, has stained ties between Russia and NATO member nations, leading to significant economic sanctions against Moscow. In addition to NATO, the European Union has placed sanctions on Russia, which has responded in the same way. In March, the EU promised to reduce its Russian gas imports by two-thirds within a year. In reaction, Russian President Vladimir Putin chose to cut the Russian gas supply by 40%, sparking a gas crisis. Since July, Russia has sent almost one-third of the gas necessary by Europe to pressure European countries to ease their restrictions on financial transactions and technology. According to the experts, Putin is using energy as a weapon to erode Europe's support for Ukraine. Experts worry that an energy crisis might lead to a cycle of economic decline and social unrest in Europe. Because of the summer, the implications of this energy problem are not yet severe. Still, we are now nearing October and the advent of cold weather. We will genuinely evaluate the impact of the Russian threat at this point because many European nations still rely on Russian gas. As a result, it's not shocking that this gas war has raised concerns about Europe's energy independence. Germany, Europe's most outstanding economy, gets approximately half of its gas from Russia. In recent weeks, energy costs in Europe have skyrocketed. Thus, wholesale energy rates for 2023 in Germany and France 
the two largest European economies set records on the 26th of August. The prices for these two nations were roughly 85 euros per megawatt hour a year ago. Overall, European gas prices hit 341 euros per megawatt hour, close to the record high of 345 euros set in March. The European Union member states are currently developing energy saving and sobriety programs, aware of the fact that the possibility of shortages and power outages grows as winter approaches. The EU may convene an emergency summit shortly to address the energy situation. This is why Elon Musk supports nuclear power. He is perhaps the world's most vocal proponent of sustainable energy. His business, Tesla, has constructed some of the world's largest battery storage systems. Nonetheless, he has recently stated that he feels it is a mistake to stigmatize nuclear energy, especially when renewables such as solar and batteries are still scaling up. He claims nuclear energy is clean energy since it does not emit greenhouse gases during its production. However, legacy nuclear power facilities may have a negative image because of a few high-profile incidents. I believe contemporary nuclear power plants are safe, contrary to popular belief, Musk remarked. I truly believe it is feasible to create highly safe nuclear power. I'm referring to fission. Fusion is not required, he stated. The method employed in conventional nuclear reactors is nuclear fission. Fission occurs when a neutron collides with a bigger atom, breaking it into two smaller atoms and releasing energy. Fusion is the inverse process of fission. Smaller atoms collide and come together to form a heavier atom, thus releasing energy as well. The mechanism through which the sun creates energy is known as fusion. You've got the sun, which is a massive fusion reactor in the sky. It comes up daily, Musk explained. Some argue that fusion is a safer way to generate nuclear energy than fission, since it produces radioactive waste that can be harmful for a long time. In contrast, fusion does not produce long-lived radioactive waste, among many other reasons. The issue is that, with current technology, fusion consumes all of the energy it generates to continue the reaction, leaving no net energy to power other things. Several companies have been attempting to commercialize fusion energy, but have been proven unsuccessful. Musk did not expand on how nuclear power facilities may be safe. On the other hand, he has been long advocating for the use of nuclear energy. According to the United States Energy Information Administration, nuclear energy currently accounts for around 20% of the total energy generation in the United States. Traditional nuclear energy technology based on fission has changed and improved through time. For example, Bill Gates established Terra Power, an advanced nuclear startup that's building on legacy power plant technology. Nonetheless, there is substantial opposition to the usage of nuclear energy. Opponents of the nuclear power argue that despite technological advances, there are still hazards connected to nuclear power usage. The preferable approach is to focus on increasing renewable energy sources, such as wind and solar. Musk stated that nuclear power is a good energy alternative unless an area is vulnerable to natural calamities. We need to reduce the parts per million level of CO2 in the atmosphere. We'll have to take it out of the air and store it somewhere. And I believe preserving it in some tangible form will make sense. You know, in a state where you know it doesn't eventually evaporate and return to the atmosphere after you keep it. It should say, you have to remove the CO2 and store it, Musk remarked. He indicated that a lot of energy would be required to do this. And in terms of energy, he feels that for the time being, employing nuclear energy is an ideal approach to power carbon capture plants. I am truly pro-nuclear. Nuclear power has a poor reputation, in my opinion. In my opinion as well, nuclear power plants should not be shut down unless they are in an area prone to natural disasters. In such an instance, you cannot just say, we're just waiting for the actual but once in a century situation. He cites an example saying, like the Fukushima disaster, well, there are a lot of tsunamis and other natural disasters, therefore, it's probably not a good idea 
to have nuclear near natural catastrophes. However, in places such as France, Germany, and many areas of the United States, there is virtually little possibility of a natural disaster affecting nuclear power facilities. In that scenario, we should not shut them down. Elon Musk indicated over time that batteries and solar will most likely be the answers that will power the planet. However, for the time being, while the transition is underway, options such as nuclear power are not terrible options at all. It surely beats using dirtier energy sources like coal or fossil fuels. Where do you think this all will lead us to? Let us know your opinion on Elon Musk's new proposal. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.